that education can be so focused on the, the, the exam result being the purpose of education. And uh, personally, I think that's the least important part of education. The most important part of ed education is, is being able to equip people to survive <laughs> in the world of work or in life generally, but specifically the world of work. I think the IoT, the way that it's set up with its um, uh, connections with industry, its focus on lots of project-based learning, about its embracing of things like agile thinking, embracing of, of, of um, diversity, uh, I think that uh, students are going to be really, really well placed to, as I say, hit the ground running with the right set of skills to, to have a meaningful and successful career in, in, in digital. We're focusing not just on putting across the technical skills, but also on uh, building an awareness of, of how businesses operate and how businesses work in the IT sector. So it's, it's more than just sitting down and learning to program or learning the, the technical facts about uh, databases, database development or security or the cloud or, or big data. If all you've done is, is learned how to program, it's very, very difficult to drop into that very, very dynamic, uh, busy, ever-changing world and to be able to deliver meaningful results to a business. So the IoT is all about um, th that balance between, yes, the, the technical skills are absolutely fundamental and critical, but the soft skills are every bit as important. H historically, tended, tend to be trained um, and conditioned to think in a certain way, to think inside the box as an, as, as an IT professional. Whereas people from an artistic background uh, perhaps encouraged to think outside the box. And this, this, create, this ability to think creatively, to come with, with new solutions, is, is becoming increasingly important to businesses. But I think what will become very, very apparent to anyone coming on the, the, the software developer pathway at the IoT is just how varied that role is. If I can summarise, this software developer uh, pathway is exciting because of its variety, because of the opportunities that it opens up. And you don't have to make a decision at this stage whether you want to be a general software developer with a little bit of knowledge and experience in lots of different areas, or maybe, perhaps later down the line, specialise in one of those areas. So if you come to the IoT and you uh, learn either on the HN course or the apprenticeships, uh, you will be given a really good grounding that will be a really good foundation for a career, whether you decide to stay in a general area or whether you decide to focus on, on one specific area. We have embedded uh, vocational qualification within our curriculum, such as Microsoft certifications. So it's an excellent opportunity for anyone to have these qualifications and achieving Microsoft certification alongside. The focus of IoT is to bridge the gap, the digital divide, and to uh, make uh, the young talent uh, employable ready. So uh, whatever they learn has to be directly, they should be able to apply at a workplace. So um, there's no distinction. We don't want to create any distinction between what they learn in the classroom and what they see at the workplace is altogether a different world. It's exactly the same scenario we want to give. We want to build their resilience, confidence, and uh, uh, creative thinking so that they are employment ready from day one. So uh, data analysis is, as you all know, we all use data from morning, from getting up in the morning, using a weather forecast till the end of the day. Uh, so we all have data, but using that data and uh, utilizing it for uh, implementing it efficiently or the efficacy of the data or uh, basically getting the insight. Uh, for instance, if, um, if we talk about the employability um, opportunities, uh, I'll, I'll just give one example that hospitality sector students would have their employability opportunity within the uh, hospitality industry. Whereas data analysis uh, student co can go into any industry because every single industry, whether it's finance, banking, hospitality, they all use data. 
And if the student learn the skill of uh, kind of using the data efficiently, uh, finding the insights, they can be absorbed in any industry. There is no limitation to them. So basically it's uh, whether you're using the spreadsheets, SQL tools or uh, whatever the tools the, the industry is using, we are using exactly the same software while teaching that curriculum so that there is no surprises for our students and they are kind of well in advance in using those uh, software tools when, when they walk into the um, workplace. The curriculum has to be based on what is required by the industry and um, the, the essential core value of IoT is being inclusive, uh, an opportunity for everyone in the society and being innovative and being connected with the employers so, uh, so that um, our students are kind of well placed and feel at home I would say um, at, at, at work on day one.